I've already done a video on my aircon installation and also how much it cost me for three months of this year, 2022. I've done a, a quick breakdown of my total bill for three months and then just my electrics. I haven't done a breakdown just for how much the aircon is on its own to run because I've got no way of doing it. So what I've done is I just gave you the whole cost for three months and then the cost of the electric for the three months. This one I'm doing today is the same as that one but combined with the first three months of summer and the second three months of summer. So six months worth of energy costs where we used the air con down here and in the bedroom most of the summer this year so most I've ever used it and that is purely for the fact it's been bloody hot yeah and I said to my wife you can't keep worrying about the cost the point of having the air con is that you use it and, you know no point in being in bed sweating your eyeballs out when you've got an air con sitting there so we have been using it and we have been using it a lot I've been using it a lot down here from when I've come home for work and during the night when it's been really hot I've been using it in the bedroom and yeah, it works extremely well. Now then, you wanna know how much it's gonna cost. And one other thing, there's a little bit of another thing here. We did get a discount of 66 pound for one month. So originally my, my bill for this quarter, the second quarter, would have been 501 pound and so many pence in total, but the government gave us 66 pound off. So I've got a discount on that one. So you've got to bear that in mind. I will show you and we'll go through it in a second. But I wanted to point out what we're actually doing first. So yeah, we're going to do the whole six months together. I'm going to show you how much it cost last year. Yeah, and then I'm going to show you how much it cost this year. And there's a little breakdown on each one. And hopefully it makes good sense to you. And hopefully you can work out roughly how much it's going to cost you to have aircon, whether you have it in the whole of the house or just in the bedroom to keep you cool at night time so you can get a good night's sleep so with that let's get on with it shall we as you can see i've done a little graph for you so i can sort of break it down for you so last year 2021 the first three months of summer my gas and electric combined was 329 pound and breaking that down to just my electrics only was £277.60p for the first three months of summer. And then compared to this year, gas and electric combined is £415, so nearly a £100 increase. And just for the electric was £371.62. So you can see most of my bill is electric. It is not electric and gas. Gas is only about £40-odd pound. Yeah, so I don't seem to use a lot of gas in this house. But I do have a lot of electrical appliances, not just my aircon, I've got computers, I've got server running. And yeah, it is extremely hot this year, or was anyway. So 2021, the second half of summer, my gas and electric combined was £357. And my electric on its own cost me £314.32p. Now this year, on my electric and gas, it rose to £501. But like I said earlier, we did get £66 from the government to help reduce that. And that was for only one month though. So it doesn't cover all my months. So yeah, just for one month I got a £66 discount. That's why I thought I'll put in the proper price, £501 and minus you know, £66, which made it roughly, I think it worked out that I had to pay £434 in so many pennies. But my electric on its own was £456.85p. So last year, my total electric bill for the whole of the summer, or for six months of the summer, was £591.92p. And this year, it was £828.47p. 
an increase of £236.55p. I know it doesn't give you a true figure of how much the actual units cost to run individually, but I was told when I first installed or when I first had it installed, it was about 14p, 12 to 14p per unit, roughly, depending on the size of the unit. So I'm guessing roughly about 16p. But the problem is, at the moment, in 2022, energy prices have increased a hell of a lot for everyone. Not just for the UK, but for around the world. So it's very difficult for me to give you an exact figure of how much it would cost once things settle back down. But I wasn't I wasn't too shocked that it cost that amount of money. I thought maybe 100, 150 is what I was thinking for six months. Again, something else you have to bear in mind that this year, 2022, it's been the hottest year, you know, ever recorded, ever, as far as I know, in the UK. So again, very difficult for me to say how much it would cost you to run, but I wouldn't have thought it was, you know, a ridiculous amount of money. I would have said, you know, if you asked me a couple of years ago how much it cost to run your air con, I would have said, well, for six months, about £100. Whether that's too much money for you, I don't know. But for me, I think it's worth it. Yes, it is a lot of money, 200 odd pound, as you see earlier. I thought, yeah, well, I, I didn't mind paying it because I had a good night's sleep every night when we needed the air con on. And when I'm doing my videos, like I'm doing now in my little room, and I've got the air con on, I'm not sitting there sweating with my eyeballs out or having to have the back door open with all the bugs coming in and letting in more hot air, actually, when you think about it. It was hotter out there in the summer than what it was in here, whether I had the aircon on or not. So to cool this room down, you had to open the doors to try and get some sort of air in, to try and cool the room down, but it was never gonna work. So the only way I could do it was to pick the aircon on. And yeah, very pleased with my aircon. I must admit, I'm very pleased. And something else, especially for us British people, something else to bear in mind is, if you went somewhere like Spain or another hot country, it's standard. Air con is a part of life in them countries and they're just used to paying it. So if they can afford it, I'm sure most of us can afford it. Yes, I know that some people are struggling right now and I do understand that. I'm just saying, if you're thinking about getting air con, it's, it's not that expensive. You'd be surprised how cheap it is. Yes, it is going to bump up your bill, but it's not it's not going to break the bank. If you can afford to have it installed, you should at least run it as much as you can. Or, you know, run it at least in the bedroom so you get a good night's sleep. We did. We had a good night's sleep. Yeah. It's well worth, it's well worth the money to me. You know, the fact that I could go to bed and not sit there thinking, oh, I can't sleep because I'm dripping in sweat, <laughs> things like that. Yeah, I know, I know, you know, it's nice to have aircon, and I know there are a lot of people out there who just can't afford to have it, and I wish, you know, everyone could afford it if they, you know, if they needed it. So with that, let me know in the comments what you think, whether you think I should do, maybe stick a meter on it or something like that and see if we can get a truer figure of how much it would cost. Don't forget this unit down here, is a bigger unit than the one in my bedroom. I think the one in the bedroom is a 12,000 BTU and this one here is a 14,000 BTU. So let me know in the comments what you think. If you've got any questions or you've got any suggestions, let me know. Try and keep it clean. <laughs> and uh, with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, and by the way, don't forget, you can use it for heating as well as cooling. So if you need to use it in the winter, it chucks out heat.